Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. In this video, this Forza Horizon tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can fix crashing and launching issues. So I've created in the past other tutorials on this problem on Forza Horizon 5 and I decided to create a new tutorial. So make sure you watch this video because I tested new methods to fix this problem. Make sure you watch this video till the very end. Uh, I tested other methods and some of them worked. I know I also talked with other f people on Discord and told me what uh, methods work from them and what methods didn't work, but I'm still going to show you methods that I uh, they told me didn't work, but for others I know worked, so there's, uh, there's, just, there's a chance it might work for you. You never know, so that's why some methods will work for you, some methods won't. So make sure you try all of them and let me know in the comment section which method worked. So now... Uh, now let's uh, try the first method, which is the most, um, I mean, it's not really popular method, but uh, it's the one that I know uh, well, a lot of guys, a lot of people told me in the, in the on Discord, they worked. And also on Reddit, I read some uh, threads there, some people tried this and it worked just fine. So I'm going to give you a screenshot now, which is, um, is try to disable, try to check for antivirus and other software conflicts. So if you have an antivirus and uh, make sure, even if you have Videfender, make sure you exclude, um, you exclude the entire Forza Horizon from uh, your, um, from your antivirus, right? So in this case, if you have, let's say, Windows a defender or windows security or windows uh, no the def defender windows just go to windows and threat protection go to virus and threat settings and here add add or exclude exclusions and yes and here make sure you add your add an exclusion and click on folder and add your entire forza horizon 5 um in this exclusion add this uh your entire folder here Make sure you're doing that, and if that didn't work, you still have this problem. Another thing that you can do is just to check if you have the latest update. That might be something insignificant, but I'm telling you guys, I promise you, this is very important to have the latest updates. I know when I bought this laptop, so I'm using a laptop right now, I just installed uh, Call of Duty, and it didn't work, Warzone, and was because it was crashing, it crashed a lot uh, right away. And it was because I didn't have the latest update. So make sure you install all the updates. You can also go to advanced option here in optional updates. Make sure you, uh, if you have the here is so optional updates, make sure you install, please. It's very important. Also install all the updates here. And also, if you if you go to to Forza Horizon 5, uh, go to properties, and then here in uh, in compatibility, make sure you check run this program as a, in a comp compatibility mode, disable full screen optimization, also run uh, this program as administrator, and click on apply and OK. Also, we have to go to graphics. to gra graphics settings and here make sure you look for Forza Horizon 5 well, if you can't find Forza Horizon 5 in this list what you can do is to click on browse and add this game in this list you can do this from here and um, once you added this game in this list or maybe it was already here located here just locate it just find it then click on the game click on options and click on high performance so this won't affect the game maybe if your game is affected by this if you're not running, running uh, or if your computer your machine is running at a, at a highest performance you can also go to power power options edit power plan and here in options power edits make sure you ch choose gaming mode and uh, or high performance and if you can't find, uh, you just go to change, change options, and here processor, power stay, make sure you set this both to 100%. And um, we also have to go to um, Chief Forced Experience. And here, click on drivers, click on check for drivers, and install the latest uh, drivers for, for um, 
your gaming ready driver click on download and install a layer of drivers that's very important as well and now also we have to uh, go in game mode and all for a lot of users they i also turn off game mode and some users told me they turn this off and this fixed the problem so make sure you turn this off if it's on turn this off game mode now the next method in solving this issue with crashing we have to install we have to ensure we have installed on our machine microsoft visual c make sure you have this i'll leave the links in the description of this video so install this uh, select your architecture and just click on this and install the process very easy and now we also have to install we have to ensure we have installed direct x direct x um, direct x and user runtime web installer click on download and install this as well you need to ensure you have this installed i know when i installed uh, when i bought this laptop i didn't have direct x and visual and uh, Microsoft uh, Visual C++ I didn't have on my machine both of this and uh, the game simply didn't work it was crashing I just gave me a lot of headaches uh, so uh, make sure you have this installed also if you have a GeForce uh, graphic card make sure you click on the online here it will um, notify you if they will find uh, any any new drivers available for you to download to update your drivers so if there are click on here download and for AMD click on here drone land this will auto detect and install all the drivers for your machine and also for Intel click on download here as well we also guys I'll leave in the description of this video this command and uh, please go to command prompt now and run as administrator and just paste this command this will just count your computer if there's any corrupted files so make sure you wait for this process to complete it's 2% now but wait until it's completed to ver the ver verification has been completed so wait for this process to complete and then close command prompt and the next method we also have to go to adjust the appearance or performance this is just to, to speed up your laptop your machine and make sure here you set to custom no that's best performance and then custom and then here only enable show timelines instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts this is uh, not really relate i mean it's really related to the problem but it's more related to the performance so maybe some of you that are watching this story i already thought about maybe some people are watching my tutorial maybe they don't have a good machine good computer and i'll just add this tip here so they can improve this can really improve your um, your computer and if you even if you go in per personalize here and you go to colors and you disable transparency i think this can also help with your computer to run faster and if you also have a laptop you can set to performance mode maybe that's another tip and if you have uh, here in performance if you go we, we go to advanced and change and here we if you we calculate and we increase the virtual memory it's really really easy we just have to calculate the amount of ram you have if you have 60 uh multiply 60 by uh, one zero two four and then we multiply this by 1.5 and then the, the result you put here this result here put this result here remove this dot click on set okay and apply and also make sure you run ms config this command this can also help your laptop to or your computer to run fast click on advanced options please and here set to higher number of processors you have and now click on apply and okay so i really i really hope guys this video helped you so you can enjoy this awesome game forza horizon 5 i really hope this tutorial helped you now you can enjoy the game make sure you leave your feedback down below i'm really curious to learn from here guys maybe you have a tip maybe you have uh, maybe you give me your results and i'm really curious to read your results 
thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you're gonna have a fantastic day make sure you subscribe and like this video if you found this tutorial helpful i'll really appreciate it and take care guys